So what's your kind of methodology here? So you got the little app on your phone? Yeah, so we're reaching out to you know, uh, community members, people who have engaged previously, people uh, just the, you know, you know, we want to communicate with and let them know the platform. Um, right now I'm volunteering for Kyle Miller, Miller who's also uh, you know, running for state representative, volunteered for his campaign previously back in 2018 when we first established our caucus. Okay. And, uh, you know, just trying to get people elected who really want to represent the community, and help educators and do our part to move our community forward. So, you know, just uh, doing the best we can. Uh, it's a nice day today. Yeah. To, to, you know, talk to the community. Yeah. Hey, Paolo, you gotta get that Chipotle sign, man. Oh, yeah, I'm tempted. That's you right there. I'm tempted, I'm tempted. <laughs> uh, Avenue. 16 Avenue. No, I don't. don't. It's a lot of walking. It's, uh, it's a lot of walking, turning around. Um, yeah, when did you start this morning? Um, I've been about here for about an hour now. Okay. So, yeah, it's been about an hour. Um, you know, Technology isn't isn't always the greatest, so it's a lot of turning around, um, figuring out where you're going. Now, is there a specific app you're using? Because I know some of the people we've talked to use this like i360 thing. Or... We use Minivan, which is a voter access network. Okay. You know, it connects you to voters and community members who have previously been, uh, you know, engaged. Okay. In in, in voting and even uh, those who are registered to vote. Gotcha. Let me jump up here. You know, the, uh, as a first-time candidate, um, the plan is to be canvassing regularly, daily. You know, as we, um, you know, as I get off work on weekends, as I have free time. But also with the caucus, we do do it regularly. That's the number one area that we try to focus on is, um, you know, I I engaging with candidates and working with them to speak to the community. Okay. So we've put in, you know, as a caucus with the Latino Democrats of Allen County, we put in hundreds of man hours of knocking on doors um, to support candidates locally who are working for progressive issues to, you know, better our communities. So we, okay. we try to do it, especially every election cycle, but you know, doing it a lot more now. Okay. Is there a lot of driving with the door knocking? With the door knocking? Um, it depends on how large the turf is, how much area we're trying to cover. Okay. Sometimes you have communities that are, you have neighborhoods that are really small mm -hmm. and you have all the houses right next to each other. Other times when you hit more rural areas or um, you, you can have areas that you know have houses that are blocked and blocked apart or to have one outlying house that is far away from all the others so it really just depends um candidates and and, uh, and volunteers campaign managers they cut turf you know right. that they want people to cover right. um, or volunteers to cover so it just depends how the turf is cut okay know. gotcha what's that i'm gonna go for you okay i had a few people who are very uh what's this strong miller good that I one lady she said her sister has a um she said her sister lives around the street towards the state, uh -huh. and she said she would, might be a yard sign person. Okay, cool. But she said she said she has a sign in her yard that says "Anyone but Trump." Oh, gotcha. Um, <laughs> but I didn't get her address. She said yeah, we yeah. might want to knock on her door. So yeah, I was for like, sure. Okay, well we'll see if we yeah see the house. Or yeah, I've got. Um, I think there's like a couple on Spring, but I'm gonna drive down that way just because I know the other group is almost done with their turf. Um, so I'll hit those. There was one on North Highlands, I think, that wasn't done, so I didn't know. Was it 1630? 1730, yeah. 1730, I couldn't find it. Oh, okay. I, like, yeah. I walked around and I think 1728 ended, yeah. and then I went around and there was nothing there. And yep. then I went back, and it wasn't there either, so. Yeah. No, I totally, I totally get it. Most of the other ones, though, I mean, there were just a ton of people who weren't home or weren't answering, and I think it's just because it's so early still. Yeah, um, it is. But. Yeah. Uh, I think other than that, though, I think we're in pretty good shape. Is your van, how is your van working? Because mine is like, like I'll walk one direction and uh, then it'll say the houses that I'm that are right in front of me yeah. are all the way on the other yeah. side. And I'm like, no, it's right yeah. here. I know the maps aren't aren't the best, which kind of sucks yeah. just because we're spending so much money on this system, which is great. But there's definitely a meeting of the minds that needs to happen between like organizers and people in the field and the people who are putting the app together. Yeah, because I, I mean, you have, you're walking and you're like, oh, wait, I have to turn around, it's back in here. Wait, exactly. no, it's over here. I'm like, oh, okay, it's fine. No, yeah. I'm fine with walking. So, yeah. But still, it would be nice if a Everything little more works. user friendly. Yeah, exactly, exactly. 
Mm. Well, and hopefully once all the polling um, locations get solidified because they decrease them from 116 in the county to 70. Yeah. So I'm hoping that they input all of that into Van because if they don't and we're knocking on doors, it's like, oh, where do I vote? Then it's like, who knows? Yeah. Hopefully. Um, Warning. So Warning. Um, so, What's going yeah. On? What was it? What's going on? Uh, we're just out here canvassing for a candidate. His name's Kyle Miller. He's running for state representative in this district. Um, so we're just uh, kind of catching up. We just finished knocking around here. Um, so we're just kind of touching base and then we're going to be heading on our way to our next one. But uh, cool. yeah, yeah. Cool. Awesome. Are you? Thanks. Yep. Have a good one. Thank you. Did you want some information on Kyle? Oh yeah. I don't even know who Kyle is. So yeah. No worries. See what you got. Uh, yeah. His uh, main priorities are. Shortcuts. <laughs> yeah. We usually just try to be as courteous as possible. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. Um, yeah, so his big issues are uh, listed on the back. It's fully funding our public education system, uh, expanding access to quality, affordable health care, uh, raising the minimum wage and fighting for redistricting reform so that when candidates step up to run for office, that they have a fair shot at winning uh, those elections. All right. So, yeah, he's also got his website and contact information on the front. Uh, so if you have any specific questions for him, you can text him, call him, email him, whatever's easier for you. Uh, okay. He responds directly to you. So, All right. Well, um, thanks a lot. Awesome. Have a good one. You too, guys. Take care. Thanks. Thank you, too. Um, yeah, so that should be good. Um, yeah, so, so yeah, things so have been moving. Our, so I see a few, 1809 Rumsey, 1802 Rumsey. Oh, now the we guy just. was like, I don't vote. And I was like, well, why don't you vote? And then he's like, I don't want to talk about it. And I was like, all right, thanks Come for your time. Man. And I was like, Take some time. It's nice and I was like, especially this election. I was like, there's so much to do. Uh, yeah, I know. It's like, okay, where do you want to like, I feel like sometimes you can like, Peg your battles and you're like, okay, let me let me try exactly. to convince you. Some people are just like, yep. all right, bye. Yep. <laughs> There's one person I called on the phone and she said she wasn't going to vote anymore. And I was like, well, if I mail you a request to vote by mail, will you vote? And she was like, if you send one to me, I probably will. So I was like, all right. So I mean, it's like stuff like that. Just like one call that can shift people's opinions. Because yeah. I think a lot of people are very turned off by politics, regardless of like what level it's at. And just trying to connect with people, I think, is important. So yeah, and people not want. I mean, there's so much going on right now with with COVID and everything. It's that exerting that extra energy towards yeah. that. You're like, I'm already burned out with exactly. everything else. Let me exactly. just, you know, let me just sit at home this one. Yeah. Which hopefully, you know, hopefully it's not too people many. People don't. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Do. 